Coming up in the sport, Matt O'Reilly says it was time for a new challenge after completing a... OK, let's get tonight's sport now with Amy Irons and confirmation of some big news for Celtic fans. Yes, I think we were just waiting for mm. it to be signed and sealed. Laura, thanks very much. Good evening. Matt O'Reilly says he feels very emotional about quitting Celtic for English Premier League side Brighton, but thinks it is the right time for a new challenge in his career. Well, Rogers' eagerness to improve his squad before Friday night's deadline has been echoed by former Celtic winner, winger Aidan McGeady. He told the BBC's Scottish Football podcast that the club need to set their sights beyond domestic dominance. And you can listen to the full episode of the podcast on BBC Sounds. Meanwhile, Aberdeen are the only other Premiership team with three wins out of three as their new manager, Jimmy Tillene's faultless start to life at Pataudry, continues. After winning the URC title last season, Glasgow Warriors are hoping to build on that success when the new campaign gets underway in a few weeks' time. The final tennis major of the year gets underway in New York this afternoon, but it will be notable by the absence of the wheelchair competition. That's because the sport's best players are in Paris preparing for the Paralympics. Four-time Games medalist Gordon Reid is in the French capital and he's been speaking about his hopes for his sixth Games. Yes, four already mm. for Gordon Reid, Laura, so we'll be hoping to add to that. Absolutely. Good to hear from him. Thank you, Thanks. Amy. Uh, actually, you know your music, so you'll be interested in this one. Yes, because you might have thought vinyl records were going for good, but young collectors are driving a resurgence in the industry with acts like Taylor Swift or the 1975 introducing their legions of fans to the media.